everybody. Welcome to the Construction Zone. My name is Timaz, and uh, hope you're having a wonderful holiday weekend if you're here in the States. Uh, happy Labor Day. If you're not from the States, happy regular Monday. <laughs> I hope your week has gotten off to a good start. I hope you're doing well. Um, so yeah, uh, tonight, uh, sorry for the, uh, the delay. We're getting started about a half hour later than normal. Um, as I was preparing to go live and getting my system set up and getting everything double checked, uh, my network just went absolutely ballistic on me and, uh, I couldn't access the internet. I couldn't access uh, between my computers. And so I had to power the entire system back down, get everything started back up and double check everything, make sure everything was working properly. Um, but, uh, so that, that does take a little while to get all the systems working again, but everything's back up and running and, uh, we should be good to go and hopefully won't have any more glitches, uh, this evening, but yeah. Um, so how's your week been <laughs> so far? And how was your weekend? I hope things went well. Um, I thought, hope you had the chance to, uh, to unwind a little bit and maybe not have to do anything, just kind of veg out and just relax. Um, cause that's always nice. That's always, it's always good when we can have the opportunity to do that once in a while to just decompress and kind of chill. Um, and while we're talking here, I am fixing my game window because um, I'm going to need to start making game windows for each game because <laughs> because I have I have just the, the one gaming uh, overlay and so every time we jump back into a different game um, I have to go in and resize and rescale and get everything uh, calibrated properly Oh uh, yeah, we can do that. It looks a little stretchy, but it's not too bad. I'm just kind of forcing the game to fill the window instead of trying to mess with it anymore. But, um, but yeah, um, let's go ahead and, um, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and jump into the game here. All right. Uh, like I said, tonight we are playing Astroneer. Uh, we are picking up where we left off. And where we left off... Oh, I forgot. I'm going to turn the game volume up. There we go. Turn the other music off. Um, where we left off last was we were trying to build up... Um, Let's see, I want this. Let's go ahead and load in. Um, we're, we're trying to get set up and trying to get our legs under us, uh, so to speak, uh, here in the game because uh, it's it's been a process. <laughs> um, and so what we have found um, is eventually we finally found the bits and pieces we need to... Um, to create and, and to, to get some things set up. And we had um, a player who is much more advanced in this game than I am stop by and he gave me some helpful hints as far as uh, things that need to happen and things that I need to do to ensure that, uh, you know, to, the, to ensure that I move ahead. And one of the things we did was um, I made this smelting furnace, which is the next thing we need to kind of take the next step up in our creation of things that we need to, to, uh, you know, to explore and to work on this world. And so what we're going to do is, um, just as I finished up last week, um, we realized that this uh, the smelting furnace needs a, uh, what do you call it? A large, yeah, a large base. 
like the one that's sitting, let's see if I can get my, yeah, that I've got highlighted there. That's a large base. Um, and we just have the one. So we're going to make another large base, which is, I'll just sneak around the corner here, which is right here. And we're going to examine. And large platform. We need two resin to do that. So we are going to um, we're going to let's see. There we go. Do one. And we're going to say large platform create. All right. And then once that's done, um, we'll, uh, we'll set it up over here next to the other large one. I have a feeling we're going to have to reconfigure how our base is laid out here a little bit. Um, I may have to make this this pad area bigger so that we have a little more room to work with um, because I have a feeling we're, we're gonna keep creating tools and bits and bobs that we need and um, we're not gonna have room for it so this uh, this will just ensure that we have all the room we need to to do stuff Facing weird. There. Alright, stop. Turn around. And set it right next to the other one. Alright. Let's uh, jump up on top of here. And rotate the camera so we can see what we're doing. Snag the cables into each other. And now let's get over here out of the way. And we're going to pick up our smelting furnace. We're going to drop it. And that bad boy is going to open up. Boom. Okay. So, a smelting furnace. module F turn on refines melts and burns resources okay the smelter is on um, I assume at some point it will tell me when it's ready. Because I, I see all of these ports where I could put things. But right now it's just saying turn off or turn on. I'm not seeing any... Um, like like the some of the other equipment says, you know, like... Hey, you know, put stuff in here, or do this or do that. This is just got an on or off switch. <laughs> um, okay, so. We can smelt. Go, go us. And our smelting 
smelting. What were we, I don't know. I don't know much about smelting. <laughs> um, I took, when I was in high school, um, we had a very nice, um, our high school had a really nice shop area um, where they taught like woodworking and uh, all the different kinds of stuff. And one of the classes you could take was, it was just called metals. And they taught you um, basic uh, welding. Uh, they taught basic metallurgy, like melting things down and making, um, like we melted aluminum down and we could make various objects. Um, and as a sign of the times, the uh, object that I made was an ashtray um, for smoking cigarettes, uh, which is something that would be unheard of today. But back then it was completely and totally normal that a teenager would make an ashtray. Um, I assume that I can put these in there. So I'm I'm a little confused right now. So I've got the smelting gig going on. So medium printer, large, smelting furnace. Yeah, I got that. Soil centrifuge. Okay, so that's another tool that I'm apparently going to need. A research chamber. Don't... Isn't that what that is? Yeah, it's blue. I've already got that. But that... It, mine doesn't look like that. Why does mine look different? Large platform A. Oh, the other thing he said was that large platform B was the way to go. That I needed to unlock this, that this was important. But he didn't say why, he just said this was important. And so it only requires three resin, we've got tons of resin. The one thing it does is it requires a ton more bites. So we need to go out and harvest bites. So, that is exactly what we are going to do. Okay, why... So the power here is looking kind of low, but the power over on this side is looking okay. I don't understand why they would have different power signals. As long as stuff isn't literally keeling over, we're fine. Whoops. That was that was a bit rude. Let's uh let's just set that there. Okay. Let's try not to break things. Um and let's not get too close to that plant or it will explode. Alright, let's get on this tether. And let's go this way and see if... I'm trying to remember if there were... Um, if there were bites out this way to be acquired. There was that giant red rock that won't go away for some reason. Um, Debris can be bundled together. I don't, yeah, I don't know how I deal with, I'm assuming that I need, whoops. I'm assuming that I need something f to gather debris. Like there's, there's an, a, a tool or a functionality that I don't currently have to do that. So, um, okay, I don't see any, I don't see any bites out here at all. Um, we'll keep walking. 
I think I came out this way and realized there weren't any. Like there wasn't, I, I was just, oh, no. I got here and realized that this was a very steep cliff and that I had to go around. Um, yeah, that is one heck of a canyon. Um, all right, so what is it, T for tether? Okay, and so that, oh, that sure looks like a resource in that tree. Um, we may hop up this hill here. Yeah, that sure looks like a resource in that tree. Aha. because then it won't regrow bites. What is this? That's an interesting thing. Why is that an interesting thing? It was sitting in a very interesting tree. All right, let's take this back and study it. Um, because uh, the one thing the uh, the very nice person who was helping me, uh, another thing that they had told me was that. Um, all right, let's do the whole. Yeah, this is this was something they told me. If you pick things up and set them down way ahead of you, and then run up to catch it pick it up and you actually move a lot faster this way I just don't want to drop it down this canyon so I'm gonna hold off here for a second before I drop it again so like that like I run up I grab it move it way ahead of me drop it run up grab it oh goodness that was a ditch all right, so let's get over to the tool that we need, which is this guy right here. We're gonna put that in there and we'll research it. Let's, uh, okay, our power is looking a little low. So let's grab some organic material and boost the power a little bit. How's that look? Okay, we look like we're okay. Um, we could probably use a little more. Um, let me look around. Okay, there's some out this way.
Alright, um, I need to fill this back in. Um, let's see, back up a little bit. Uh, go to E. What is the, uh... Add modifier of the Alt key. Is that not picking up? Oh, put that away. No, it's still not picking it up. What's happening? I want to pick this up. Pick up. It's flashing. Yeah, like that is. Everything flashes when it's hovered. I don't understand why I can't pick this up. Is it because it's connected? It's because it was connected. Okay, there we go. Okay, um... It's still sampling that thing. So some more, some more organic would be good. Do that. Huh? Wait, where's my... I'm missing my tool. Where's the tool on my gun that makes the... There's there's a piece missing on the side of my gun that uh, that does the the input output thing. Small oxygen power cells. goes on my gun. I don't remember the name of it. Is it do I can I make it here? Oxygen filter. Small canister. Small generator. Beacon. Small oxygen power cells. 
small soul. Actually gonna take this off and I'm gonna put it on there because I don't need it right now. Um Yeah, what is that thing called and where did it go? Did it break? Oh, did I lose it when I died? Oh, I wonder if I lost it when I died. <laughs> That's a possibility when I fell down into the cavern. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, now it's bugging me that I don't remember what that... Small solar floodlight. Tungsten. Glow sticks. Oh, and I need the soil centrifuge to to do that. Packager. Small printer. Tether bundle. Oxygen. Small canister. Maybe it's the small canister. Resin. Grab that resin. Put it here. Was that it? That I had to put it on the side of the gun? So let's try that. I, d I don't understand. I just, I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough junk in my, in my gun to, to fill, I guess. Okay, so, excuse me, what was that? What was that? It sounded like something scraped. That was weird. Although I do see... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Put the gun away. <laughs> Grab these. I need to put these somewhere. <laughs> I'm just going to keep running into them until I put them somewhere. Um, I can see that there are... Um, are bites available here. Alright. And I know there are more along this path. I just have to remember where. Are they over there? No. No, it's not over there. Yeah, 
you know, when you play a game once a week, it's hard to memorize. Okay, here's some. It's hard to memorize where everything is. stuff. Yeah, I remembered that one. And then I came this way. Oh. Oh. And I had stopped because that was a long way down. <laughs> I'm such a dummy. Right, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, how are we going to get back up? saw something red over there. I don't know what it would have been. Okay, why does the camera keep freaking out? saw something else on there that I could I thought I saw more bites on it alright let's head back and we'll go this way this time because there was well. Oh no, it's just that I could see something off in the distance and I didn't know what it was. I've got enough tethers. I could, I could go find out. Go see what that is. I feel like I'm too close to that object. I'm gonna just back up a little bit. Yeah, 
because if, if if it explodes and goes boom, I don't want to die, which it just did. Oh, that's funny. So no big revelations over here. Um, I've also noticed that the... The tethers aren't lighting up again like they did. I don't know what's going on with the tethers. But yeah, when I turn the flashlight away, yeah, there's no, there's no light coming from them. Like usual. Don't know what's going on with the tethers. Um, alright, let's... Let's skate back down the hill. That's fun. So we ventured out in two of the cardinal directions. Um, let's do number three. But this way we are trying to find um, as many bites as we can. So what is that? Okay, that's the moon rising, but what is that over there? It looks like a fallen spaceship. This. Is it just my imagination or does that look like a spaceship? Time to explore. That's a spaceship, folks. Although it's farther away than it looked, and it's like embedded in the trees. That's fine, we're not that far from home. Whoop. Excuse me? <laughs> Search items, bites. Um, we've got a little indentation here, but it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Doesn't look like it's a uh, an actual cave. So we will continue on. Um, let's go this way around the big rock. Of resources up here. Oops. It's 
some of that up in here. Get a plethora of resources just sitting on the surface like this. It's just going to act like that's not there and it's not going to tell me what that is. <laughs> Anybody else noticing that? <laughs> that when I hover over it, it's not saying, oh, hey, that's a thing. What is going on? All right. Oh, that was close. stuff here. Let's uh, flatten this down a little bit so I can get down here. Whoop. Put a tether in. And uh, no, no. Turn slightly, dude. What are we looking at here? filling up. What am I picking up? Medium storage. Okay. Thanks. We're going to go ahead and Okay, the jump button isn't working. Let's try this. 
Okay. Apparently I can't jump while I'm holding something. That seems detrimental. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just me. I think being able to jump while holding something is kind of important. Um, okay, let's do the drop and run. here with the rest of the holdy stuff. And we'll go grab that, uh, here, we'll set that, just set that down there. We'll go grab this other, yeah, um, whoops. put this there's turn where did you learn how to walk there <laughs> I don't know why he has such a hard time walking sometimes here pick that up come over here don't know why he has such difficulty walking sometimes. There. Okay. Now, let's go around here so we can see all the sides. Grab that. Put that there. Okay. Organic. We want up front. when we left. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's go back. Go 
back to the spaceship. and stuff here to see if there are any uh, any bites any any researchable items that would give us bites okay that's not a cave it's just a scoopy bit okay I see another interesting shaped tree right there so before we even get back to the ship because our main objective here was to get more bites so that we can build the things that we need yeah that's a researchable item I just need to be able to get to it Onto the oxygen. Excuse me. <laughs> Just apparently not walking for some reason. enough juice yeah everything's glowing nice and green but what the heck let's give it full oomph So if I get out here away from the ship, where it's not so noisy, I have 1300 bytes. So I have enough now to research large platform B, which is, like I said, uh, the, the one of the fellow Astroneer players came in and was kind of, you know, watching as I was playing. And he was just giving some tips on things that I should I, I should aim for and try to get. And I, I, I got the feeling that he was trying to not give too much away. But he was yeah, he I felt that he was he was genuinely trying to help and be helpful. Okay, so and it's interesting that, that these trees with the the hollow in them like that have some sort of a plant life that it just sits in there. All right, we are back.
is is there a door Ship's really banged up. I thought I was doing the right thing here, making it um, like it would lay down farther where I could reach it. But I don't, I don't know if I am at this point. Does that work? It's a red thing. Um, we're trying to see around inside of here is almost impossible. Oh, there we go. back. Um, okay, there is something up there. What is that? Copper. Okay, 
I think that I think that's everything. Yeah. I didn't see anything from the other direction. And the game's making it very hard to look inside here. And that may be on purpose, I'm not sure. So let's, uh, trying to look around the back to see if there's any additional I think the ship is free and clear of the ground. I think the only thing that's holding it here is my ramp. Okay, so. interesting is it it okay it's reading on the, wait is that more of the ship over there oh I think there's more ship over there yeah this is just part of the ship okay I was trying to see if there are I don't know what is going on with the camera Let's see if I can back up. There we go. I'll just keep backing up. Nope. <laughs> I was trying to see if there are, these are usable parts up there. But it's acting as if the ship isn't even here. So can I can I climb? Is climb a thing I can do? Forward, backward, left, right, sprint, jump, backpack, catalog, terrain, use. No, I don't believe I have the ability to climb. Okay, and I am right next to these things and it is not even registering that this ship is here. That's so strange. It feels almost glitchy, like it should be doing that. Right. There's just a truckload of goods here that we're gonna... <gasps> no, 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 no. wasted that plant. It was filled with bites. Ah, oh, that bums me out. And we could have come back here and fed off that thing time after time after time. And now it's gone.
Wait, I'm not. And is the gun full? Oh, the gun's even full. Good grief. All right. Um. So I can. Let's put one of these here. And I can carry the other one in my hand. And we'll head back and unload. This is heavy. Yeah, the, the difference in my walking speed is noticeable, even for something as small as one of these. metal bundles. We've got graphite, spherolite, and copper. I don't know if I want to use up the copper to make this work light. Oh, I could make a... Yeah, see, I could make a solar... Okay, so copper is important. These two didn't show up on anything that I could... So let's go ahead and put the metals over here. I got the distinct impression that that what I was seeing on the far side of the ship was another ship. Um, or more of the ship, like it broke apart on entry or something. Um, got a whole batch of
Okay, I'm gonna leave those up there on purpose so that, oh, where's my tether? So that I don't forget that that's over there. I know, I know, I'm getting to the tether. Because otherwise I may forget that there's all that, um, that all that uh, resources over there. Okay. Scoping out the trees. That's interesting. Oh, there it is up there. I was like, wait a minute, where did that tree go that I got the resource from? It's back there. It's just kind of in between the trees a little. Yeah. Okay, so this crash site, I can see something back here. So let's, let's go back and look. Okay, I did pick it up. Okay. Okay, so a solar generator, a chair, and some wheels. Um, okay, I see more ship back here. There's more ship back there. Um, so let's let's go this way first. There's another research item. All right, let's turn. Set that. Down over there where I can reach it.
there's more materials down there too in this part. this up and we'll carry it. Um, oh, now we've got, now we have another problem. Um, okay, so let's get to the rock here. Let's set that down. Oh, on the other side where we can see it. There we go. And then over here we dropped that. So let's get that over here and we'll set that there. And now this big boy can come with. And I don't know why my character is having just a world of a time functioning, but... space here. Put that on for added juice. Put that back there. Um, more metal that goes over there. this way. No, no, like this with the cane. Uh, young Frankenstein is the best. Alright, and what else is on here? Clay and graphite. Now, clay and graphite are new to me. Um, let's put this back on. Get over here. Backpack is Q. Everything's going to town here.
Yeah, it's all good. Uh, power looks like it could... We could probably boost the power... Whoops. Boost the juice a little bit. doesn't make me run any faster <laughs> but it was worth trying yeah it's so funny because I mean you look over there you can see that these are lit up obviously you can see the lights on them but then some aren't and then this whole strand isn't lit up it just it's very hit or miss as to whether or not it works I don't know why not sure what that's all about. All right, so once we get up here, we're going to go ahead and grab the existing resources we've already mined to make sure that we don't leave those behind again. Because I keep having to leave stuff behind. Um, okay, so grab. Grab. There we go. And up the hill. And around the corner. Okay, there are other sockets in there, but those appear empty. So, we'll look around the outside of the ship here. I don't see... here a bit and we'll add another tether so we can dig on this side. This bit seems to be broken in the same way the other one was. Um, okay, so we scavenge the resources from this. below it but it does make me wonder um, given the trajectory here there is a piece up there a piece there and a piece here <coughs> it makes me wonder if there's more up this way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one more tether as far this way as we can
Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna put one more tether here. And then we're gonna walk just just a little bit back this way into the trees. To see if but I don't want to put another tether out here if we don't need to waste tethers. So let's... Okay, there's that. I'm not seeing... seeing any more ship parts. Alright, let's quick, let's get back. Alright. Drop that so we can walk faster. Checking. There is, there's another piece. Okay. That is exactly why we were doing this. and justification for putting more tethers down. Well, where was it? Start, I started walking back this way, and then I found the other tree. Okay, well that's that's one. Of th I need to look for the other tree. Get back on the tether. Okay, there's another tree over that way. I thought it was here. I thought it was like right in line.
Was it over here? It's over here. a resource rich area because I just saw yeah there's another one of those tree doohickeys the tree sitter things. <laughs> um, okay, so... So yeah, I feel like I'm going at a bad angle here. I feel like this should go over here. And this... Hello. Go like here, and then we don't need this one because once we pass the ship, we turn and go this way. why it felt weird. Okay. That's the first part. That's the second part. Do I still need to go back this way? Or I should tether from those resources and keep going that direction, yeah. Instead of getting all this confused with Alright, so that goes there. Okay, so that is the original crash piece, then there's that one, and so the next one is that way, not that way. So yeah, it's like back this way somewhere. Maybe. 
maybe I'm going cuckoo bananas because now I don't see it at all. Alright, so let's walk this way. right there. The ship that I keep saying is right there. the other is the already found part of the ship, isn't it? West. So you have the initial piece there. this way and contrary to that direction there isn't anything here there's nothing visible out on the plains yeah I don't I don't see any additional fragments here. That's the ship we already looked at. So yeah. So we're going to grab this. I'm going to go back. And from here, Am I going the right 
direction here? Or do I need to hug closer to this? It would make sense to hug closer to this. So, got that. Grab this. There. Now the question is, should I leave this here so that I can come back and grab... Yeah. I'm gonna leave that to remind myself that there is other stuff out here to be grabbed. Because there are a lot of resources back in here. So we'll leave that. We're gonna cut through the trees here. And this. Oh boy, is that close. Holy cow. Okay. Um. sneak along the edge here. at the sheer quantity of resources we're running into out of here. Okay. Let's drop another one because we got another one of these guys. So yeah, this is just like a resource haven down here. Just, I just happened to glance over as I was walking. And the next thing you know, our entire, our entire day has been taken up. Oop. I want to go back this way on this one. This rock isn't going to move.
Show me the backpack. What do we got going on here? What about on the gun? Okay, we've got an open slot there. Okay. Um, we got all kinds of stuff in here that we need. So, we have our hands full once again. Let's go ahead and head back out. Let's put the resource gun back away. guy That's weird. There you go. Okay. Backpack. in the last a lifetime. Alright. Um, so, everything else. from other countries, aluminium. <laughs> I have a, a very dear friend of mine uh, who lives in Australia. Um, <laughs> when we first met, um, why does that say research catalog? That was weird. Okay, anyway, um, when we first met, um, it was really funny, some of the stuff that we went through, um, just figuring out different variances and differences between our cultures and our, um, you know, things that we were accustomed to. 
um, stuff like that, like the difference between um, saying aluminum and aluminium uh, was a very funny, not argument, but a, a joking around with one another, uh, telling each other that we were saying it wrong, <laughs> that it couldn't possibly be said that way because it didn't make sense, kind of a thing. Um, uh, herbs, uh, saying herbs with the hard H, herbs. Um, uh, we, oh, um, she thought that eating, um, what am I, oh, I want to put that away, there we go. Um, she thought that eating peanut butter and jelly just was the weirdest thing and didn't understand, and I, you know, I told her, it's like, it's literally like a staple of American food, like, every kid in America eats peanut butter and jelly. I mean, they used to make them at school. You you could get, it was like on the menu at school, you'd get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And she was just like, that's just the weirdest thing ever. I don't know why you would eat that. Um, and then of course, you know, uh, I tried, um, was it Marmite? No, Vegemite. Um, and trying to explain it to someone who's never had it is difficult. Um, uh, needless to say, I, I wasn't, because I was unused to it and wasn't expecting it, uh, it really kind of took me by surprise, <laughs> and I wasn't terribly fond of it. I think if I had it again, I think I would have it in a much smaller quantity and in a different way, because for some reason it reminds me of almost like incredibly salty bouillon. I, I'm, I'm not even sure if that's the right way to describe it, but, um, but yeah, I mean, there, I, I could, I could figure out a way to eat it. Um, I, you know, I could figure out something to put it on or have with it. Oop, I almost walked right over that resource. See, so yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun, but, um. I'm not sure why I got off on that tangent. Oh, because of aluminium. Yeah. Because I said aluminum or aluminium. Um, okay, so back down into the... There we go. And we want that... Ooh, malachite. We want, what is that? Turn. Quartz. Okay. Oh. Anything else down there? Get the gun back out. Clear that out. Um, oh, I can't zoom any fit closer. Okay, so this is just a an assortment of various okay so below me so those have been cleaned got that there's another one of aluminum okay and again the camera going through through the ship is really unhelpful. It makes it virtually impossible to see. rock directly in front of me to vanish. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Alright, hold on. How can I get out from underneath here? This way, go around this way. Okay, there we So I'm definitely going to grab that before we go. Um, that's interesting. Just seems to think they're random elements stuck up in the air.
see any, another resource over there in the tree. So we'll snag that. I'll just walk over here real quick and grab it. Let's put a tether right there. Oh. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? in my hands. I literally don't know what just happened. I was holding it, I came over here, I dropped a tether, and the thing that I was carrying vanished, just up and vanished. Okay, so let's grab... technical difficulties or what's going on. Um, Alright, so let's take this back to the pickup point. Okay, apparently I can't walk that way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sneak under the ship thing okay can't see camera in this game is uh a bit buggy. If you all just realized what just happened. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's pull this off. Okay, so that's all full. Full. Wait, where are my tethers?
Okay, if I had more, I could make another tether bundle. However, what I just realized while we were standing there, put the gun away, is that when I... This is interesting. That arm just fell, like, down. <laughs> um, I can actually carry that, like, in my hands. The reason I'm going slow is when I'm carrying it, like, hovering, is because I'm making it hover, not because it's heavy. It's going slow because it wants me to tell it what to do with the object. If I just click on myself, I put it in my hands, and I started moving it like a normal rate of speed. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to grab... I, I saw another one of those research items in one of the trees just on the other side. Yeah, there you can see it right there. Um, can I just go this way? Go around the bush. Excuse me. Okay. I don't know what's happening, but we're going to fix it. stuff. I apparently got stuck even though I was tethered. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're going the right way. Wait, are we? No, we're not going the right way. We're going to go this way. While we're over here, we're just going to go ahead and grab that. <laughs> um, yeah, that was really bizarre. It's like I got stuck on that plant and it wouldn't let me move. I don't know why. And it acted like I wasn't tethered and that I'd run out of oxygen. And it just killed me. That was weird. Hold up. That's home. Big thing in the sky. Why is there a marker over here? I can see it behind the trees. Oh, is it marking where I died? So I can go back and get my stuff? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I was... Okay, so the thing that I grabbed is still there. Okay. Up, over, around. Oops.
Alright. Now, as I was trying to go over there to grab that, I realized that that was what I was stumbling on. So, let's, and now, if I do that, yeah, I just walk normal. That's what the problem was. The reason it makes me walk so slow when I'm carrying it in a hover position is because it has no idea what the hell I'm trying to do with it. And so it's moving slowly, like what, 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 what do you want, do you want to put it down, do you want to move it up, do you want to... Okay. That. Turn. Sit right there. That. Okay. Don't know why you felt compelled to do that. There you go. Super easy. Easy peasy. Now, let's go back. quite the quite the crater I need to be careful in fact e. there we go because if I if I have to go under the ship again I need to be careful that I don't get stuck because of that, what I did. Um, okay, so just on the other side of... Yeah, right there. There's another one. to sit there and mess with the whole pick it up and drop it, pick it up and drop it thing. Just walk with it. I think granted it does make it a bit tough to see, but as long as I keep the camera angle high enough, should be okay. No. There you go. Excellent. Alright, was there anything else in here we needed to pull? I would like to go back <clears throat> to the to the part where I was up on the the edge of that cliff area. That yeah, I, I dug a really deep hole in there. Um, Cause I'm curious if now that the game reset and kind of glitched there if that research item is now back where it was. No, it's still gone. Yeah, for the life of me, I don't know what happened to it. It just... Oh, way over 
over there in the distance. Okay, I need to get back on oxygen. There we go. Way over there in the distance, right where my marker is. There's another ship. Okay. Um. All right, and so we we kind of went down this way. I've got enough. Yeah, I've got enough tethers. I can mark this. So that's the ship. Right? Wait a second. Is that another piece? Or is that the same piece from the other side? That's a different piece. Okay, but there has to be an easier way to get here than to go through that other ship. All right, let's let's backtrack a little bit. steep though. What about from no that's really steep. No, I think but okay what I can do is I can make this a little less sketchy. through here. Hey Lou, how are you? It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. That's some strange fruit, yeah. <laughs> it's a that is a weird plant. it. Oh no. Oh, that's very bad. Yeah, I don't know that I can get back out of here. Oh, maybe I can. Okay. So, apparently, I didn't fill that all the way in. Wait, how did I fall through there? That doesn't make any sense. Why did I fall through? All right, so we come up here. For the chill stream. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. So I came this way. I started to go this... Aha. Oh, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. It... Yep. I... My alerts are acting weird again. I I swear every time I think I've got them figured out and they're going to start behaving, they just randomly decide that they're going to turn off again and Streamlabs acts like it's not doing anything wrong. 
Or, I'm sorry, not Streamlabs, Stream Elements. Okay, that's... That's where I fell through. <laughs> Let's try this again. So now if I walk down this way and I go around the corner. There we go. Now I can get around. Okay. Okay, so that should be a little easier. Alright, so now let's go back and find that ship. Oh wait, do I even have any room? So let's test my theory out. Can I? I'm gonna try to get back around using the sideway. So uh, under the ship, come around, turn. <laughs> that that hole is still there. through and I come around okay that needs to be better because I'm not going to have the ability to jump if my hands are full so this needs to be slightly smoother yeah like that Okay. All right, now I can get through. All right, so back to the ship. Let's see, our backpack is filled up. We're gonna grab... We can only grab one of these at a time, I think. carrying it. Interesting. All right. Interesting. All right. Good grief, it's 9.30 already. I feel like I didn't... I feel like I've barely done anything. <laughs> this game is, there's so much to do in this game. It's like you've been playing for two and a half hours. What? <laughs> like, I just started. Okay. No. That. Goes. Right there. Alright. And we are going to. Boost the power. Boost the power. There we go. Alright, let's walk over this way. And we're going to put away that. Oh, we've got enough. 
have to, whoops. Grab that. Am I close enough? There we go. Okay, um, let's see what's in here. Alright, so we're gonna have to back up. Put the organic stuff on the ground right here. And right here. Um, <clears throat> and the rest of this. Over here and turn around. And we've got quartz, malachite, spherulite, <clears throat> and more aluminum or aluminium. so hard. Oh, it's when the organics run out. Well, they, they, they run out really quickly. Yeah, it makes a thunk noise. Alright. So, yeah. That. Because everything slows down so much when it's off. Okay. I'll grab this. back up. We're going to go ahead and boost this a good one to get this done as quick as possible. There we go. Yeah. What's that old saying? Now you're cooking with... Was it now you're cooking with heat? Or now you're cooking with gas or something like that? That's done that. We're going to run back. And we can... the other spaceship or the other portion of the spaceship and we can grab the um, whatever resources are buried inside there and seriously this little forest area is just a treasure trove of bites. It's like everywhere I look. actually gonna put a tether down here 
so that I can walk down and just snag all of these. Because this is going to be an ongoing resource grab. I'll keep coming back here and picking all this up. When I need bits. Oh, sorry, bites. I'm thinking computer terms. <laughs> okay, so. Come down, run through the machine, jump. Come back this way. We'll go around the steep cliff. Is the mo that's the easiest. It's not the most direct way, but it's definitely the easiest way to get down here, and which means it'll be the easiest way to carry things out. should help somewhat getting in here because we have to we have to dig out the inside of this so making it a little more kind of a level here Just flooded with those resources. Holy cow. Okay. And so that still. Hello? That looks like a brand new seat. Just for the sake. 
Let's come around this way. Not seeing anything out here. set those down for a second because for some reason the gun is just acting like it doesn't exist and I can't see inside here there we go okay so that is it so there was just the two resources Put the backpack away. Um, the tethers. I don't have any room for the tethers. Oh wait. If I do this. If I do another one, then I've got another. Yeah. Um. All right. So. with this I'm I don't have to build that which is awesome um, I don't have to waste the resources to build it if I already have one um, so I'll have to come all the way back out here to get those tether bundles Once I pick those up, then I can pick up the rest of, um, 
And we can look around and see if there's any more ship pieces from this crash site. So that's what happened. When I jumped, I dropped it. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. So earlier when I was holding the plant and I jumped, when you jump, apparently you drop whatever is in your hands which seems like an odd thing to have happen. Um, I also don't understand why this one's fine and this one... Oh, the cage is all bent and stuff. Not sure what happened to those guys. It looks like they didn't fare too well, though. Alright, so I have to carry this back, and I need to remember to leave my hands open for the next return trip so that I can uh, carry another one of those plants back, because those plants are super rich in, um, in bites when I do the research on them. This was a haul, holy cow. This is a super productive stream. This has been awesome. All right, I don't even know what to do with this chair right now. We're just gonna set it aside because um, basically what I do with this, if I understand looking at that other machine that's sitting out there. Okay, music changed. Um, if I understand correctly, this chair sits on top of one of these platforms, these feet come off and wheels go on it and it turns into a, like a go-kart basically which is super cool um, so for the time being we're going to set this here um, and then Let's divest ourselves of our resources. Uh, let's do this. Organic. Organic. does that sometimes just wh wh why do you pick it up even higher and chuck it what? seriously just set it down why you gotta be so why you gotta be so salty <laughs> with throwing it I don't understand what that's all about Okay, tethers up top. Um, I want another set of tethers. And I'll put those up top. There we go. That goes there. Always carry an extra with me so I can make more. Excuse me. So I yeah, always carry an extra with me so I can make more. And now the lateral light we will put with the rest of the metals. 
over here. Because we are... We are collecting. each other. Graphite and graphite. Yeah, let's do it this way. Graphite. 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 Spherolite. Zinc. Oops. Aluminum. Zinc. Copper. That's ladder light. Hold on. I got stuff mixed together here. We got stuff mixed together. Let's do it this way. Ladder light. Ladder light. Again, why do you, again?
Okay. So lateral light and spherical light are now separated. Resources are stacked up here. Um, now we need to go back and get those last couple pieces because we're starting to run out of time. We're getting close to the end of stream here. We need to uh, we need to clean up what we've been working on. back we'll grab the last um yeah we need to i can carry one and i can hover another one of those to get two of them back and then while one of those is processing i'll run back and do the same again i'll carry one and hover another one so we can get those back to the base how fast these replicate. that it makes when it when it collects two of these at a time it reminds me of a sound effect from Star Wars um whoop didn't mean to do that wait <laughs> no come back um it was like I want to say it was a point where R2-D2 was in the back of Luke's X-Wing fighter and they got shot and he was like short circuiting and he made that really loud kind of squeaky whistly noise and of course now I've collected all of them and so I can't do it again to make the sound. Um, Let's see. I just need two more. Oh, I did. I think I collected all of them. A shot. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use this. I may actually continue that and dig down there and see what's in there under the ship. All right, so we'll cut through here. Jump. We'll go up and around. this other portion of the wreck oh. there we go and inside of here we'll grab those 
and everything else has been retrieved, okay? Oh, there's another one. Good grief. Okay. So, I'm gonna jump off tether here really quick and run back this way. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I don't see any more ship parts. So, I'm... I'm gonna grab that. Um, where is the tether? Oxygen. Where's the ship? Okay. Oh, that was a shortcut. <laughs> I came around the other side. Okay. Um. Well, just out of curiosity, since I'm up here now. That was the original wreckage. What was that down there? Whatever that is down there, right by that red splotch, it kind of glowed for a second. All right, let's get back on the tether. There we go. Alright, yeah, this, this whole area is just filled with resources. So this is an area we're going to keep coming back to. Um, okay, so now if I do this, and I... Okay, I can't. Uh, for large items, I can't grab one and hover another one. So, yeah, I'm going to have to run back and forth with these. I wish I had a cart or something I could stick a bunch of these on. They're valuable resources. We'll, uh, we will use them. tedious. I have to keep walking back and forth to get all these. Is there a... Wait. Sprint. Are you kidding me? Yeah, 
question is, I can if I hold the sprint button down, I can walk faster than normal. Oh, thank goodness. This makes it go a little faster. And I'm like, why isn't he going any faster? so close next time. chances of walking this and surviving if I just aim straight for the base.
get some more go-go juice. Sun is going down. <laughs> yeah, it's about to. Everything's about to go to like quarter power. Uh -oh. I'll do that. Oxygen. There you go. Should replenish us for a little bit. Let's take a quick jog back to the base. because we have so many things that need to be researched and we need the extra juice so um, let's make sure that we didn't leave anything um, 
over at the crash site. Because they're, I mean, we're, we're going to keep coming back here for ages at this point. There's just so many resources up in this hill. Okay, we picked all that up. Let's come up here. Okay, good. Um, some of these plants have... Yeah. If I grab two of these, it's really funny. The first one, it makes a regular noise. And the second one, it makes a noise that sounds a lot like R2-D2 in Star Wars when he was in the back of one of the X-Wing fighters. And he, he got shot, or he got shot at, and he made this like really high-pitched, like he was screaming. It was like kind of a screaming noise. So yeah, the second one does it. Now you can barely hear it. It goes woo. <laughs> Look, it makes like a high pitched noise. The far away ones don't do it as much. You have to be really close to it to hear it. Get close to one of these down here. There we go. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I hear R2-D2. Alright, let's get back up the hill. check just to make sure we didn't miss I feel like there was something else over by this this last piece of the ship I saw something I was like oh well I can't grab that because I didn't have enough hands um, I mean I could grab all this foliage I guess for organic <laughs> a tree over. Okay, so I got this. How many did I grab? Just four? Okay, so I drop that if I pick my gun back up. Alright. So apparently I'm not... Multi-coordinated. I can only hold or do one thing at a time. And it's all fine and good. Okay. You're just about full. down but
if I remember correctly, I can just run this way. Um, but actually run. Get some oxygen. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm getting there. Whoa. Almost walked into the ditch. Okay, set that down. Alright, run back over here. We're gonna grab this thing. Oh, carry it. You walk faster. Take this back. And then we will come back and get that last plant. And I think that's going to do it for tonight. Hmm. Got a lot of resources tonight. That's good. Because we were we were struggling a bit there for a while. All right, can I put this in the? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Come on. There you go. All right, and let's get everything powered up here. slow and your backpack is floating. <laughs> there we go. Full juice. Alright. And now, if I move over this way, I can set these down on the ground. Organic. Nice. Alright, and now we can run back and grab that last bit. Whoa. Oh no. Okay. Not good. Quick, get the gun. Okay. Okay. Get some oxygen. Could have been dangerous. Let's try that again. <laughs> Need to pay attention to where I'm walking. Wait a second, it went through all of that already? Good grief, this machine's hungry. Whoops. Oh, come on. 
Come on. Are you serious? There you go. No? Alright, not sure what's going on with the camera here. stiff breeze to get the wind going as well to get juice from that yeah because it's not even halfway done scanning that yet Sure. Now the wind starts blowing. Thanks, wind. <laughs> That's, that was incredibly poor timing. Um, all right, so I'll come back around here. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at all these resources we picked up from the spaceship. We just got a ton of metal and stuff, and plants, and research items, and I mean, we started off with like, what, 200 bytes? And I've got almost 7,000 now? I mean, that, that was like, <clears throat> that was probably the best haul we could have possibly hoped for in here. So, yeah, so, uh, that was a very productive uh, productive session on Astroneer. So, um, so yeah, let's um, let's see. Oh man. Alright. Let's switch gears here. just like to say a big thank you to all the folks that stopped by and spent some time here um, 
I really appreciate every single one of you. Uh, I appreciate when you lurk. I appreciate when you come in and you throw some biddies at me. <laughs> um, I appreciate when you host. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. I just want you to know that. So, um, yeah, I hope that you whoop, almost lost my headphone there. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, whatever that may be, whether it's uh, getting some good sleep or whether your day is just starting or uh, you know, whatever's happening in your world. I hope it's good. So please be well, take care of one another, and uh, we will do it all again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night we will be playing... Why do I never remember what I'm playing night to night? Um, I have to check my own schedule. Um, tomorrow night is, oh, that's right, Planet Coaster. <laughs> um, yeah, so tomorrow night we're going to be playing Planet Coaster, and, uh, between then and now, I actually need to get in there and map some things out, because I realize that Planet Coaster isn't one of those games that you can kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Um, it requires some, some forethought and some layout. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. Between then and now, um, I'm going to start laying out some plans of how things are going to work. Um, so that while I'm on stream, we can just spend time building and crafting and that. And not so much just sitting watching me draw on a piece of paper, <laughs> figuring out where I want to put everything. So, yeah, so that's it. Um, again, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And... Um, Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh. None of the usual suspects are, I think, because it's a holiday weekend. So yeah, I'll just flip over to whoever I, I normally would be hosting, because um, I have my auto host set up. So that's it. So be well. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Take care.